head's gone. It's like it's like it's been erased. Erase. Erased. I mean, so I'm learning that a strong black woman is not for my money. I'm learning that she is more committed to the relationship and the components that make up a good relationship. And so in the case of six-year-old Blue Blood Lover, Ralph Angel, now I'm saying you are not the father. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Spot Real Talk. My name is Tiara. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Ron. And today we are talking about Power, episode 603 titled Forgot About Dre. So um, hang tight and we'll be right back with you. All right, we're back. And you know, this episode, I thought it was decent. Um, when I first watched the episode, you know, I was, of course, happy to see that the original theme song was back. Yes. Yay. Thank you, 50. Thank you. Uh, and you know what? And even, Trey. you know, Trey, Trey had to. You, you took a stab You at took it, a stab. And, 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 and I think, I think, you know, you know, you're playing it well. It seems like you're taking it, you know, like a true, you know, like a true yeah, G. Yeah, they was on but you. But they were on you. <laughs> and, you know, 50, thank you very much, you know, for listening to your audience. Because that's exactly now, what. look, let me tell you something. Uh-oh. We come back next week and it's back to that Trey Songz intro. And the resistance. We don't, we don't have a problem. <laughs> we don't have a problem. Right. Right. Thanks, Fifth. Don't, don't do this for just one episode. Keep it going. <laughs> and let me you're tell you. You're welcome, Joe. And, fifth, and fifth, <laughs> right. 50, you don't want them to on you. Yeah, on you. you don't want I'm trying to tell you, you don't <laughs> want it. Oh, Lord. We got memes for days. Right. Speaking of, what, of no, which. He likes to smoke. <laughs> he likes to smoke. Yeah, he does. He does. But yeah, anyway, so. I was very happy to see that back. It started out, I mean, like, I had to actually sit up on the edge of my seat mm -hmm. because, I mean, mm -hmm. 50, that was, you know, a great start. Yeah, you know. this is what his uh, directorial debut. 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 Mm -hmm. A great start. You had me wide open, I, you know, trying to figure out. Are they going to make it through this or what? Yeah, it was, that's what I'm saying. This episode was really action packed. And so um, when when Dre and uh, Donovan and all the feds were involved in the shootout and, and whatnot, I was really like, OK, so like I think everybody in this room might die. Yeah, because the, the weapons that the feds had were no match for the weapons that the Jimenez had. And I thought because Donovan had the baby, I thought for sure, other than when he took a bullet, that Dre might get clipped, right? Yeah, I thought That's it might be Dre that might go down, and and Donovan, you know, walks out with the with the baby. I I never saw it coming that your boy mm -hmm. Dre. Well, I didn't know it would be Dre to kill him, but I told y'all about a week ago. I thought that. that Donovan was gonna die. Yeah, he is true. He it said, is unfortunate. Good guys, good guys last. last. It's sad too say? because Donovan was really he was the the clean cut one in the office. He was the only one trying to play by the book. He's the only one that, that kind of helped Angela too. And yeah. he saved Dre's life. Yeah, and he that did. was my. You gonna turn around and kill me? Right. And of all the the federal uh, you know federalities out there that was gonna do halfway anything with you, Dre, you wind up killing him. Terrible. Well, you know, as I said to you guys, the baby's name is Heaven. <laughs> and he's and Dre, yeah, Dre is a <laughs> Exactly. And you know, um, <laughs> in the episode later on, Sax kind of like used Heaven against him, and she, he's trying to use the baby as leverage. Like, we're going to put her in protective services until you give us what we need to take the crew down. But I'm like, you know, um, Dre, honestly, that baby's better off Way than protective better off. sir. I'm just going to be yeah. real with you. Because you can't roam with no baby. <laughs> I mean, how you, you can't be in the life. He doesn't have no, a woman, a stable Correct. woman. Well, I don't think he ever. I mean, ditched the woman. Yeah. He I got mean, her out of protective custody. Yeah, he, I don't <laughs> see any relatives of his that have ever been mentioned. So who's taking care of baby girl? Plus, he don't think, even know how to comfort her. All right, Donovan was crying was, all night. Donovan had to step in. That's what I'm saying. But that's a real father. See, Donovan's a real father. Babies yeah. know that. You know. But that's true. But the babies sad. know that. That baby stopped crying as soon as Donovan took him. It's exactly. sad when you got a stranger that can comfort your baby better hey. than you can. That baby sense that bad and energy. You're killing, right. <laughs> murdering people in front of baby girl, getting the blood splatter yeah. all over. See, her. last week everybody was talking about how bad a daddy um, ghost is. My God. Man, Dre. Dre. Oh. By far the worst. What I say, he giving the baby PTSD before <laughs> she can say her ABCs. <laughs> 
You know, I'm like, come on now, Dre. You got to get on the hands list this yeah. week. Yeah, he's on the hands list. You okay, got Dre got to get the hands. Um, and then, you know, we kind of go into this other big event that, that happened. Um, <laughs> so uh, before we even go there, let's, let's talk about Tommy and Keisha. Tommy and Keisha. So Keisha stepped out with Tommy this week. She glowed up. She she's laced. Got on her <laughs> nice little knee high boots. She wearing her all black. Got the, the blinged out shades. Well, I was like, look, check you out. She can't act. At least look good. <laughs> <laughs> Ron said that. Ron said. Sorry, no, I said it a couple I, weeks ago I, too. I, I, I did say if. I, you know. Because a lot of people online have been talking about Lala's acting, and yeah. I, I can't say I disagree. So, but you look good. She, now you look real good. Spank and two bit think so too. Hey. Yeah, well, more so spank. <laughs> yes. Two bits was like, listen. Yeah, yeah, you, need to, yeah you, you need to slow your roll, cause, right. <laughs> yeah, cause plus, Tommy got a bullet for you too. Plus, I yeah. agree with two bits. Like you said, when you get a chick involved, it goes sideways. It goes sideways. So I, I kind of felt them on that. And yeah. see, that's why I'm thinking Tommy's got some. I mean, he's he's not a total dummy. So he's playing he a, something. He's he's, just too, he's bringing uh, her in, but I'm not sure if that's the smart thing to do at this particular point in time because he still doesn't know whether she's a, a you know a ride or die. And I don't think she is really. I don't I think she'll ever be she that. She want to be Tasha so bad, and she's not. <laughs> Tasha's a G. Right. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that too. But I think Tommy was kind of better, like showing Keisha the. He's trying to show her the ropes, and no matter how many times he tells her exactly what he does and how uh thug life he is you know i don't think keisha sees it for no. what it is well, so maybe he's like was... but that's what i'm saying maybe he's like i can show you better than i can tell you i think you're right but she's never actually seen him kill anybody that's the thing like know. she you know she's seeing the money and everything but she ain't really seen the real right. like tasha knows right when she starts she to see that, real with ghosts. like yes. she knows what ghosts right. and Tommy are capable. <laughs> when she starts to see that blood flow, it's gonna be a different story. Oh yeah, yeah. It's she gonna be a different like, story. Oh, I've been sleeping with the enemy for real. She gonna be out there yeah. <laughs> if Tommy don't take her out first. But you yeah. know, you've shown her everything, and if she's not a G, you know, if she gets caught up, and she or rather gets caught, mm -hmm. I mean, she has a lot to tell, mm -hmm. and that's yes. a lot to you know put on her knowing that she's not built like that yeah, yeah that's that's a fact um man i i kind of wanted to switch up and talk about tate too because he had a nice my boy little, tate. little love scene my boy uh -huh. tate uh -huh. you were uh, tearing excuse. it up uh-huh <laughs> like, good lord tell me back to them love jones day uh, oh my god no. <laughs> it was a little more this time yeah yeah he was on the phone mm. baby girl talking all in his ear whispering things saying little smart comments uh-huh i'm like you need to get off that phone call and handle your business well he, he was, was handling. he was he handling business but he i'm like him. your investors don't need to hear that the dnc chairman or whoever you got on the board <laughs> They you see, she was that. married. Old girl was married. And How about married yeah. to his staffer? To the, the old boy he beat up. Yeah. And, yeah. But she was like, uh, hmm, she. She she, was she, too. she said there was some bigger, brighter days, and yeah. she had well, every bit of it, didn't she? Once you go black, you don't go back, I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah. I guess Derek, what, what's his name? Derek, he had yeah. the black but eye and everything. I one thing I like about the show, Power always has some hellified love scenes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh -huh. and I'm, that's not that wasn't love, but you know, hey, no, what's love, yeah. what's love got was, to do yeah, with it? That was like, it's my turn because he's been on a few seasons. Mm -hmm. He hadn't had his. Had any, hadn't, right, yeah. That's true. That's the first time we saw turn. him have a piece. Yeah, and it turn. won't be long before Ghost has another one. Yeah, we yeah. see that coming. Yeah, yeah he's old gonna girl, get old. Um, from the DNC, uh, Ramona. They have sent her in to Rip. clean up shop. <laughs> yeah, Ramona, she's. Oh, it's a matter of time. Yeah, you peeped the eye contact oh, yeah. with, with, with Ghost. Yeah. And when he said he was getting a divorce, mm -hmm. I, I saw her. But you know, over there. like I said to you guys upstairs, you know, you y'all y'all are thinking miles away. I think she wanted him the day she laid eyes on him. She, she, I mean, maybe it's it's growing. It's getting mm -hmm. you know it's getting bigger and bigger because now that she knows that he's having problems with his wife, and you saw the way she sat down, mm -hmm. and she started peeping him from you know giving him that eye. And now she really wants him, like I think, because... We both divorced Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, like she's like, oh, he so I think what that told her was, I, we might be able to take this a little farther than uh -huh. just the bedroom. Because yep. initially, I know she wanted to get it. She wanted it. You know. <laughs> yeah. Of course. You know how you yeah. talk about him all the you time. Know, well, you, you, you talk you about him, but you, you know, know how you feel about him. and stuff. I, you know. 
not yeah. handling his business with the kids. But he's mm-hmm. a fine stuff, man. But, but he's a fine man. I will never deny that. And he so knows I, how to finesse. He does know how to finesse. Yeah. So I'm never mad yeah. about that. That sweet talk he be giving. Hey, he hasn't hey, gotten I you see yet, why really. Angela and Tasha and everybody getting on the bus. You know, so, I, I understand. So did you buy your bus ticket yet? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. But um, I, I wanted to say when we're talking about ghosts, mm-hmm. a few of them called us Tasha stands. I am going there. I'm going there. Yeah. We're not Let's Tasha see. stands. Um, yes, you are. That's no, no, we're not no, Tasha no. stands. We um, see they cleaning up now. No, my brothers. No, okay. no, 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 all okay, you brothers, all you brothers who hit it, y'all hit. You know up. what it is? You hit the nail on the head, and now they're trying to do cleanup. No, we're not. That's all no, it is. Not. I want to speak my piece. Go ahead. Because speak on it. There exactly. Go ahead. <laughs> because we have people that have been watching us for a while, and then we have new viewers. Yeah. So. You, it may seem like we're Tasha stands, but Tierra. I, I think I've always been pretty objective. Like even some of the stuff when, um, like I agree with you when you talk about Tasha and Ghost because I feel like some of Ghost things that he does against Tasha is always kind of like him throwing her under the bus, but not acknowledging his role and how they got there too. And not to say that Tasha's blameless, but, but Ghost you, doesn't. Not- Ghost doesn't acknowledge his part in it. Tasha doesn't shift blame and throw blame on him. The what? way that he does her. That's all she does. And now, and in fact, she, she does tell him this, this is her fault because come on. Be his that's fault. all she does. I mean, <laughs> Tasha, you talk about throwing her under the bus. She's the bus driver. What well, can I say? What I what yeah, I said ahead, about, about go- no no what you said was perfect. But what I was saying about an Tasha, yes, perk. we do believe that Tasha is culpable for a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And Tasha and Tommy, they are. The reasons keeping ghosts in the game. We, that's one of our one saying. of our viewers uh, brought that out very yeah. poignantly yes. uh, last week, because every time he tries to step out of the game, Don't one of them, them pulls, them back. pulls yeah. him back, and and that just goes to show what we who that's us, some of us guys out there that see what's going on. See, y'all don't want to pull back the uh, sheets. See, y'all want to lie on top of the sheets. You we're pulling that. back the sheets. We're, right, we're showing What's you comment? that stain. Well, that stain on the uh, uh, in the bed, y'all y'all covered it with a bunch of sheets, and everything's supposed to be everything. Now y'all get on us saying that we <laughs> shut Ron down and we shut him down and all this other stuff. And I was trying to get to a point about ghosts before yeah. he butted in. Right. So I hope that you guys jump in the comments <laughs> and get on Ron. Equal the opportunity. He, the way he get okay. on Tierra and I. Hey. But anyway, yeah. what I was gonna say about how I feel about ghosts. I don't hate ghosts. I actually want to see ghosts get out the game. I would like to see him be a legitimate businessman. I've always said that. Yes, and I do believe Tierra, I mean Tierra, not (laughs) Tierra, Tasha should have supported him from the beginning. But something that I said, the reason why I feel the way I do about Ghost, one of the commenters said that you and I were acting like we dated, we had a man like Ghost or something like that. Did you? It ain't even. Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Just checking. I always came up from the place of the kids, how Ghost treated the kids. When the situation happened with Angela, the way he moved on without even really communicating right. with the kids. That was always my issue with ghosts. And I know and when you break up in a marriage and stuff, that happens. You move on. It's blended families, all this other stuff. But the way he handled it is why Tariq is acting the way That's, he is Let's now. not say why. That, we're not go, we're not going to say. We're not going to go that far and why say. Do you think, I think on. Tariq is acting that way because he's Tariq. He, he is the son <laughs> of ghosts. Why, why, so, so Tariq is mad for no reason. Tariq. Tariq told him in season three, he was like, you moved in with Angela. You didn't even tell us. He had an attitude. Yep. He, kids I, get over that. It's but, cause and effect. But kids get over that. Yeah, it's, but, cause, it's cause and effect. Immediately, he, he ended up hooking up with Kanan. Kanan turned on to the life. And think about what happened at the time. Sean had just died. He really needed his dad during that time. Okay. And then he fell into it with Kanan. And then... Raina died. It, it was cause and effect. And Excellent. Now he, I'm glad now that you. I'm glad that you really. Dad. I'm glad that you really understand cause and effect. So, mm-hmm. so we don't mm-hmm. spend too much time going back. Right. But cause and effect. Tasha caused Ghost to be where he is now because she wouldn't support him in the mm-hmm. very beginning, and, and that, that is yeah. cause and effect. We're gonna address that. We're gonna yeah. I mean, yeah. but like, but we just addressed in our commenters. We are very objective. We're not always on Go side. We're not always on Tasha's side. 90%. But I mean, the, we we tend to but fight you, a little bit hard for Tasha. Hundred percent on Go side. That's yeah. the thing. No, yeah. no, it's not true. I I told you that. Are I've even said I I 
as I say in any show, in the, this episode, Ghost is making some, you know, some, he's doing some things that I think might not be of the best interest uh, between, you know, he and, and Tasha. I, I don't think that he had, personally, I wouldn't have said anything to Ramona about my, my getting a divorce. I think that what he's doing is he's trapping her and, and putting her in a place where he wants to mm -hmm. control her. I think he was trying to get ahead of the story because he know that it's well, yeah, come out anyway. Yeah, and he wants to control her as well. And by controlling her, I mean, I think he's, you know, they will be, there will be a bed scene. Oh, well, we know that much. <laughs> this ghost we talking about. Right. <laughs> There's a bone on the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't be well it won't be buried so it's mm -hmm. just you know but anyway i think i don't know if, agree or disagree i i just think it was a little too soon to introduce his divorce his uh divorce proceedings with mm -hmm. her personally i think that but yeah. but that doesn't mean necessarily that all bad will come from it because we do see that she's relaxing more into him and i think that's where he wants her to be yeah. personally i don't think i would have said anything at that particular point in time i would want to know more fully where she's coming from. Is she on my side or is she neutral? Mm -hmm. So, but you we'll find out. Ramona, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Ramona is about winning. The DNC, yeah, the but, government, yeah. she already said. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm just saying about the personal affairs between she and Ghost. I, 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 I see her, but with that last um, comment, he being, uh, getting a divorce, we saw her pull closer to, towards him. Towards him. Yeah. So, in, in that effect, that's a good thing, but well, see, I, I'd want more shows. Like, okay, so um, I, I wanted to bring Tasha and Ghost into the situation too, because of course Tasha is back to her humble beginning. She's back in a the apartment that you know <laughs> is no comparison to the penthouse, and the kids see that too. Um, Tariq <laughs> complaining about Yaz's bed and not sleeping on the couch. He don't want the air mattress, and you know Ghost was supposed to take Yaz, but he. You know, late. Well, well, but he knows he has Jason, to Jason, Jason right. gave him a project. Yeah, and, and I understand what's going on, but at the same time, he came over and he wasn't helping the situation too much either. Ta how much you paying for this place? Like, <laughs> well, that's none of your business. Well, you ain't giving me enough money. <laughs> first off, I feel like because she has the kids, she should have stayed in the penthouse and, and he should have left. Well, yeah. wait, but typically when you're that might be divorce, true. You know, the courts, they that look might at be. what's in the best interest of the children. And keeping them in their familiar setting and stuff is best for the yes. children. That, he just has to worry about himself. That may be true, but, but Tasha, Tasha's the one that goal. rolled out. She did, Tasha, Tasha rolled out. Yeah, so Tasha did. didn't want to, you know, Tasha should have had that conversation with Ghost. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she's always a hothead at him. She's, all, she's, mm -hmm. she's always thrusting her opinions and feelings at him. And then what happens is... You know, she she's off. He's you know he says something she doesn't like, and she's ready to roll. Right. And she's that's in her feelings. Yeah. and she's in her feelings, and then that's what happens. She she rolls out, and now look at where you are. But that's it's the same thing. When you're going through a divorce, sometimes well, it's, it's, it's difficult to be, you know, and objective and, and yeah, think yeah, about where you're because going. Because all these feelings and stuff. Yeah. And that's got why that. I got that. They but, need a mediator. But yeah, well, sure. they need therapy. <laughs> well, I think more so therapy because Tasha needs to really understand. Yes. Where you? Where are you going? You got, you know, you got these kids that you're going to be taken care of. And just let me step back a bit when you were saying how he he was supposed to take his baby girl, and here comes Jason. Jason mm -hmm. gives him a project, mm -hmm. and this is what the street does to you. So, mm -hmm. and this is why you need you need a woman at home that's going to be there 100, right. not running the tr trying to be you know a sidekick, a sidekick yeah. trying to be a g trying to do her own thing oh, somebody's got to be home to take care of the kid mm -hmm. because you got to you got your man out yep. there hustling mm -hmm. you can't hustle and take care of kids at the same time and i said that in the last one of our last shows yeah. it's not going to happen so all you folk out there that think that uh that ghost is done wrong because he didn't bring him up right how could he bring him up right he's in the streets yeah I mean, 90 percent of the time he's in the point, streets you know, when Tariq actually does go back to the penthouse with Ghost. Um, you really seen that hate he got for Ghost come out? Yeah, he does. He's there's no. I mean, there well, might be some love there, but it doesn't seem like it. I'm like Ghost. Tariq gonna be the one to take right. Ghost. And actually, I'm He's believing to think that Ghost. no, and I think it's less hate, more of competitiveness. I think he sees himself on par with his father. No, no, but what I'm saying is. He sees himself, look, he's dealing Maybe drugs. Future, he's, but, but what I'm saying is, he no. doesn't respect him anymore. No, clearly. Of course. And then, so, look, giving his mom, 
the money and saying that it was it came from Canaan, that was a real short trip. That could have gone sideways real quick. Well, I don't know why he would say that anyways. Like, well, he didn't want to tell him that he's well, dealing. Well, I, I know he didn't want to yeah. tell her that, but you know the animosity she, can't she stand, got for she can't stand Exactly. Oh. Exactly. So, again. She said, get that money off my table. I was yeah, like, Yeah, yeah. And you know, the thing with Tariqa is, unfortunately for him, he's a terrible liar. Because Ghost called him out the second oh, he looked knew. him in the eye. After, a second Whoa. after that, he he said something, Ghost. Well, Ghost is Ghost like, like looking in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, this is his son. But that's how Ghost I know. That's, that's what he, that's he peep game. Like, right. Oh, this, this nigga lying. But that's how I know Tariq and Ghost, like you was trying to say they're on the same level. No, no. Tariq no, 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 no. Not, not the same savvy. level. Not the same level. It's 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 the competitiveness with 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 boys and their fathers. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. boys think that once they get a certain age and they, they start, yeah, that challenge. chest they comes right. out, yeah, and do. you know, yeah, I'm I'm younger than you, I'm stronger I'm than you, and I, yeah, I can take you, dad. Yeah, and yeah. then you make that mistake yeah, and find and out, get slapped down. <laughs> right? right. right. <laughs> and you're on your back looking up. Yeah. You know, and see, that's what I think is happening with with uh, with Drake. I mean, with um, uh, Tariq. Tariq and 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 Ghost. You know, he's flexing. Yeah, but you see the thing with Tariq is he think he know like more than he does. But mm -hmm. Ghost, he's he's on to Tariq, you know. Mm -hmm. Tariq grinning and behind his back trying to laugh and stuff. But Ghost don't trust Tariq. Mm -mm. No, he he's probably going. Well, like he, he said, he mm -hmm. says I I gotta trust you. I gotta know. Right, but I have he to don't trust, trust you, and he doesn't. I, of course. And you heard when he was in the in the uh, room with Tasha, he called him your son. I know. Yeah, I was so like, oh, son doing? yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But I don't think Tariq really trusts Ghost. I don't. I don't know that relationship has really deteriorated mm -hmm. and for the reason i'm saying he, he feels like his father's back to yep. have all these people yep he doesn't trust him at all <laughs> so um and Tariq, he he's in a little bit of a tight spot himself because he's running out of pills yeah and i think he's beginning to see the reality of his game so mm -hmm. you know to go back to vincent yeah yeah he's gonna have to yep. um and that's another whole and that's that's gonna be mm. Yeah, because I well, if you looked at the previews for next week, it looked like Tommy was also in talks Vincent. with Vincent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably what he's gonna find out. He's gonna find out that Tariq is is in the game. Watch. Can you mm -hmm. see? Question: Can you see uh, Tariq uh, going to Tommy for some drugs? Yes, he could. I don't think Tommy would want him in the game. I don't think because so because um, Tommy is very protective of Tariq. And but everything. also at the same time, I can see Tar Tommy thinking that he can protect Tariq. I, and I, I started to that. say exactly the same thing. He would probably be like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and work with you right. because I can look out for right. you. Exactly. If your dad not going to do it, I can. Because in, yeah. in a way, Tommy has put himself um, as, you know, some type of overseer with uh, Tariq. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and he kind of respects Tariq with what he's done. He's never ever said, hey, you shouldn't talk to your father. You know, shouldn't talk about your father that way. Because you think, so, you know, and that's what really Tariq needs to hear. You know, instead of rooting him on to, to put his own dad down, mm -hmm. regardless of what he did. I mean, yeah, he lied. Okay. But we can get over that. People right. lie. Mm -hmm. You know, family lie. families lie to one another every single day. Mm -hmm. The point is, how do we go get past that? Mm -hmm. Nobody's trying to help Tariq get past that. Everybody wants to see Ghost out Tariq and, and, and you know, and mom, Tasha, everybody's in uh, Tariq's ear about how bad his father is. Nobody's really trying to uh, work with Tariq and trying to help him understand who his father is, why his father has, has done what he, uh, you know, what he did, and see if we can work past it. But mm -hmm. like I said, you, if in you. In the past, Tommy used to, though. He used to. Um, well, yeah, but we, we know. Excuses. Even, even Tasha did one time. Even. It's a couple seasons ago, but when he was coming to pick Tariq up and he didn't want to go, Tasha talked him off the love. Yeah, but then when like, you're... You need, you need to spend time with your dad and stuff. So she did have his back that time. But, you know, your feelings get hurt for one reason or another, legitimately or otherwise. And the next thing you know, everybody's trying to run down Ghost. Mm -hmm. But the truth be told, Ghost is your money bag. Yeah. You give her a ghost, you have none. And speaking yeah, of it. yeah, he money bag, because you know, now that ghost is kind of like out of the game, nobody has a way to get clean money. Tommy is struggling to find clean money, which Keisha, Keisha volunteered her business. We know she don't know what she's doing, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. Um, and then Tasha is trying to do the um, babysitting business with moms. Well, Ghost <laughs> is running out of money too, though. And he went well, to Simon. Yeah. Well, yeah, but again, that's because of all of the the breakup. You 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 broke up an industry, found mm -hmm. a, a, an organization, mm -hmm. all on feelings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Everybody got caught up in their feelings. Mm -hmm. But let's just talk about feelings. Moms. I no. love her. I love moms her. Moms is a trip. If anybody moms telling the truth, is Mom, moms. Mom, you done messed up my money. My yeah. money. You didn't even get back yeah. with your husband because yeah. you said we. We were looking to retire. <laughs> yeah, we need to do work. Yeah. Yeah, she ain't trying to hear about no babysitting business. No, Dude. she didn't want to do that. She only want to watch her own grandkids. <laughs> like, right. You think I want to watch other people's kids for? Yeah. No. Well, she always had the kids. Yeah. Remember, we had never seen Yaz at first because she was always with always. Always. Right. always. Exactly. But, you know, I think that's that's smart of Tasha because, you know, we, we talked about this a little bit before, like what her motives for this business was, whether she was truly trying to be independent or whether so. it was to help Tommy clean his money. And I think no, it's a little I, bit of both. No, I well, I, I it's like the cart and the horse, you know, the horse comes before the cart, the cart being cleaning money. The horse is how am I going to clean the money with what? And what, what sort of business is that going to be? Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Well, it fell into her lap. Well, you take kind of presented an opportunity for right. her. You and want me to play house? Then you're going to give me what I need to start this and, business. And Tasha being Tasha, Vanessa. she took full house advantage yes. of it. Yes. And listen, I was here for her read and tape his Like rights. he needed to be. Yeah, he needed to be read for filth because he did... Mm -hmm. you know, ambush them with that press conference. Mm -hmm. And at the funeral, like, trying to make it for show. Yeah, And, yeah. you know, um, I really think that, you know, Tate always tries to put up that front, that clean guy. He always in character around them. She like, you cut the act. Yeah, mm -hmm. cut it out. There's no cameras. <laughs> right. <laughs> but she read them both and, and got where, and, you know, was able to get or possibly will get what she needs to get the, um, the daycare center up and running, full force. Oh, I look. She's as much as I talk it. negatively about Tasha, like, but what I've often said about mm -hmm. her is, the woman, there is no business without Tasha. Tasha has a an acute business mind, yeah, and yeah. and I like that. I love that about her. She studied accounting in school. Yep. Yeah. So again, and here come Keisha trying trying to launder money. Does she know how hard that is? <laughs> I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I know anything about laundering money, but I'm telling you that I can't possibly be uh, just a matter of bringing Cause money in because like, you got to know yeah. how much to bring in, how much going out. You know, you have to. It has to be a balance. You What's just can't. Her shop? So who? I wonder who keeps her books. Does she do her own books? Well, Tasha was keeping them at a while. So but, I don't know who does it now. Yeah, but Tasha before that. Well, she, I mean, she had to if it's before that, so who was handling her books mm -hmm. beforehand? Well, I mean, it's a simple pay. You know, pay out. You, you got salaries. I don't know how many nah, people she yeah, has. You got overhead and all that other stuff. I mean, that's that's for real. Right. No, it is. I, 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 you know, oh, sorry. I want to just say a little comment about Tasha because, you know, I'm getting on her a little bit this week because I know y'all say we stands, but no, I'm getting on Tasha because <laughs> I think she truly can see how Ghost feels now mm -hmm. because as much as she, you know, kept Ghost in the game early in the game, um, early in the episode, I'm sorry, in the, the show. She used to always say, you know, you the best drug dealer, you the best at what you do, I want you to stay in the game. She hated on the club, all that. But now that she's trying to go legit mm -hmm. and open up the, the little babysitting uh, business mm -hmm. and mom is shooting her down, mm -hmm. now she see how it feels when people are putting you in a position you don't want to be in. You know, her mom is telling her, you need to work out your marriage. You know, he's the, the breadwinner. He's been paying all our bills. I'm not trying to work, I'm trying to retire. <laughs> And so now she sees how it feels to be on shut down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, having and your dream so, shut down. So, so uh, all the people that's calling us Tasha stands, we we on her case this week. Yeah, this especially time. I was um, not feeling the fact that she came to pick up her baby smelling like weed. I was like, she need to be on a hands list for that. Yeah, yeah. And baby girl called her. You smell funny. funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Notice I'm not saying anything. What you gotta what? say? Yeah, you say something the no, other time. No, just making my point. I'm just oh, letting okay. you. I mean, I'm not saying that she's a terrible, terrible person. You should be. <laughs> Why? She show up Everybody's with. Everybody's terrible. Okay, yeah, come on. Right. Now. That's about, that's well, the that's what I am. That's, that's exactly the right. That's, that's the point. The, thank you. Thank you. You know what? You must have got Jesus or something this week. I mean. That's what I'm trying to say. That's, the point y'all that's but all I'm the points I'm ever making. I made my point about ghosts, and the thing was. You would never acknowledge ghost wrong. So that's, well, I, that's not true. Mm -hmm. I've often said when he's wrong, he's wrong. I, I agree with you in pointing out his ills, but what I'm simply saying is they all have them. Mm -hmm. And it's just yeah. at whatever point it shows up, I can't blame you because you can't, you, 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 what you did, you did before I did. I mean, if I'm a, if you're going to do something wrong, then I'm going to turn around and do something wrong back at you. Well, who's right? Right. You're right about that. But I, 
to that point, one of the reasons why I said that mm-hmm. about ghosts, and I said this before in a couple other seasons, I look at ghosts as the head of the household. Mm-hmm. And let me finish. <laughs> Remember we were talking about um, the lion, the lion analogy that I gave like several Ooh. seasons ago. The, the male lion protects the pride. Ghost is the male lion. He didn't protect the pride. He didn't protect his family. He didn't protect Tariq, all of them. All this stuff happened. That's why. Yes, Tasha had her role. She was negligent at times. There's a lot of ways that she has fallen short. But he is the head of the household. He, you know, mm-hmm. like I said, he moved on to Angie. He did not handle that properly with the kids. Tariq felt left out or whatever. That's what He I sought thought. out Kanan. And everything, and then he was taught the game, and then all these other things happened. And that's where I come from with ghosts. Do not hate him, but mm-hmm. that's my issue. And that's why when I say that it starts with ghosts, and y'all think I'm saying this is all his fault. Yes, I'm acknowledging that Tasha's at fault for, for her things. Tommy's at fault. Everybody's at fault. Everybody's culpable. But the household thing, I'm looking at ghosts because he's the head of the household. He has higher expectations. Yes, I'm. Look, that's yeah. why I say ghosts. Okay, so Ron's right. sitting up and, here. And I've, said, and I've said that before. But but you fail to understand when you keep talking about he being the head of the household, this ain't the Brady Bunch. I know. I know no, 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 no. Stop for a second. Are. Hold up, hold up. You see, you, you can't play both sides here. This is not the Brady Bunch. This isn't the normal, everyday family. See, it's not about, it's not about being a man. It's not about being a man. Okay, sides, but here's the thing. See. Being a man, being a man, and in that system, there's only one thing he can do. So when you talk about him being a man, being in that system, he can't be home. He he cannot be, I mean, you can be providing financially, legitimately, Mm -hmm. and not be home. But with this, not only is he not home, he's in a system that he doesn't want to bring anywhere close to home. So he can't be what you want him to be as a father and a husband in that system, which is why he wanted to get out of the system from the very day. And I support that. But don't stop, stop, stop for a second. I know you support it, but if you support it, then you can't see him wrong for not being there. Mm. Hold on. I'm what? talking about having a simple conversation with your kids that you're moving on and moving in with another woman. You that got to get over you know, that, sweetie. I, I'm just saying. But you got to get being with your kids. You got to get over that. I don't want to keep rehashing this right. conversation. Me either. Though, you got to get over it. Because I don't want to be redundant. Because we know we knew. Look, we already established that that was wrong. Okay. But but I, it is. It's just it's wrong. That's but, all I'm saying. But you keep saying it. And my point is. We we got to move over this because it doesn't matter what it, it at this point you 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 sound like that's the catalyst for everything that has happened and I'm saying it's just a part of what of what has always happened what has has happened up to this point it's not what caused it it it's just is it's it's once that domino fell when she said stay in the game mm-hmm. you can have a thousand dominoes behind mm-hmm. it they're all mm-hmm. going to come tumbling down. Mm-hmm. And you can't pick any one of them that starts to fall as being the one that knocked them all down, Mm -hmm. with the exception of that very first one. Mm -hmm. And that very first one is stay in the game, make the money, do us proud. Okay. Right. Well. I'm ready to move on from that Go conversation. Ahead. I'm going to be quite Thank honest. you. I think no, we're going to end that. <laughs> round, round three for me. Yeah, okay. we talk about this all the time. Uh-huh. And I don't think we, I mean, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about that. We'll never, <laughs> that we'll never see. <laughs> right. Because ne- it's just, it's too much. This show, it makes you fall in love with the characters, but then you see them doing good and bad. And so it's hard to weigh out the cons and the pros of each person because everybody's doing dirt but you love them at the same time right. mm-hmm. so exactly. you get invested in them mm-hmm. True. but um i want to talk about the main event of this episode um alicia jimenez there's a tommy and um ghost both have been tasked by jason to break her out of jail <laughs> um now Whew. tommy tommy did good this week yes he did he mm-hmm. outsmarted Ghost, and mm-hmm. of course he got the, the crew to do it. Ghost is truly he by himself out here. Yeah, Ghost is by himself. Yeah, and Ghost going to show up to the doggone courthouse with the, the hat on, like ain't nobody going to recognize yeah, I'm him. I'm looking like, like Ghost with a hat on. What disguise is that? You and can see kinda... his beard a, a mile away. I mean, <laughs> and she, ele- I mean, Drake could tell who he was from b- the back. Like, just looking at you from behind, I know who you are. What are you doing? He, he's an engineer fixing the elevator with a... 
Okay. Like you got on ball cap on. on. He's most wanted. And was that a leather jacket? I don't know what this no, is. No, it was. It was like a. Yeah, you know, maintenance. I'm like, those. I, I didn't see any maintenance that. outfit. I mean, that's. I mean, that's, I mean what I'm saying is, because Trey, Trey, Trey Dre. was like, Dre. I mean, Dre was like, okay, look, exactly. That's Ghost right there. I mean, <laughs> he, and he never saw Ghost. Uh, he never saw his face. That's no, what he I'm just saying. saw his profile. He right. just knew his profile, like, like everybody else would know, right? Yeah, exactly. So, and, and then you get on the elevator, and he, and he's looking out like staring straight out at the elevator as it closed. I'm like, you better go hide in that corner somewhere. <laughs> but Sacks. <laughs> Tried to act like Dre was delusional when he said yeah. it. Yeah. Well, wouldn't right. you? I mean, come. Who would think that uh, uh, yeah, it's ghost? Unbelievable. Right. I mean, well, you wouldn't think. Well, showed up there to the funeral last week. So, <laughs> so, 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 so I, that's would you believable. Be surprised that he wouldn't be I, I, I can see Ghost doing that. But I, I think I, that in the moment, Sax is like, you probably just pulling anything out your butt just yeah. to, you know, get your get yourself out. But um. I thought that this this um, rehashing of the same breakout method, you know, they did this with Lobos yeah, when they broke thing. Lobos out of jail, and I'm like, okay, so we we've seen this before. Well, you get writer's block sometimes. I'm thinking when you. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that ain't good enough for the last season. They need to bring the heat, and I'm like, we've already seen this storyline play out, and I don't, I wish they would have found a more clever way to get Alicia out of jail. Yeah, I do too. I and the fact that Jason just wanted her dead, so you know he's just gonna just, put a bullet up her chi- up her uh, <laughs> cheek. Yeah. I mean ch- uh, chin, and then I don't know where the other shot went. I don't well, know whether ch- her chest or whatever, but or head and ch- chin. I'm not sure, but mm-hmm. but um. I just thought it was not believable. At well, all. yeah. I mean, you know, we go got, through all that just to get her, you know, wound up and he dead. He still didn't get the ports. Right. Yeah. So he she didn't tell him. Yeah, he just but killed her. Right. Pretty much, I think it was a test of Tom, Tommy and Ghost. You know, just as he he been playing them, he's just trying to see who's up for the job. Like, which one of them is going to be? Well, he got them both by the balls. So yeah, he, he, he realizes I can twist one way or the other, and you you have to do what I tell you. Right. To do. But maybe not for long, hmm. because Ghost made that phone call to Tommy this week. Like, look, we need to set our differences aside. And, Tommy and needs to get out. he needs to get with that program because they both are are in danger when it comes to Jason. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jason is, you know, he's probably one of the most ruthless uh, gangsters in this whole program. Yeah, he doesn't care. They both running out of money to give him. Yeah. So exactly. I mean, I don't see any other way. Yeah. Um, I think that Tommy though he I think he's emotional right now because he's still like. You really tried to kill me, yeah. But yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, you gotta look out for your 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 livelihood because if ghosts don't kill you, Jason will. Mm-hmm. He's gotta so, get out of his feelings. He's you know he's a little touchy feely kind of thing. Feelings. He killed his woman. Tommy <laughs> killed his woman, and Ghost tried to kill him. Yeah, so we even. Right, but I Tommy mean, Ghost was, Ghost was responsible for for his dad dying. Mm-hmm. You kill, I mean, trying to kill Ghost, you kill he his woman on the. Him. Yes. Yeah, well, right, yeah, right. Like, oh, no, get <laughs> right. back. I'm canceling Christmas. I'm <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you ain't off my cancel Christmas list. <laughs> oh, me. That's funny. But what did y'all think about um, Ghost going back to Simon Stern? Because, you know, every oh. time he gets out from underneath one person, he puts himself right back in. Because of his. Somebody it, else's. Group. Right. And because he of. He needed the money. He's desperate this week. You know. If you, yeah. you know, the very people that you were you had trust in in terms of helping you with this business mm-hmm. this way of life they both turned on you so what's he gonna do but how many yeah. times can you outsmart simon before well, he he's on to you before he's like okay maybe i need to do something to get a couple steps ahead i think he can i think he's got a couple more uh turns with uh, simon because simon seems to simon's in it for he, I think he acts like he want to own James. Yes, that's they, what it is. Yes, and, and he wants to have his right. own. Mm-hmm. And that's like, where he's making his mistake yep, with James. Because, see, he's not trying to outthink James. He's trying to own him. Mm-hmm. And that's just not going to play well with him. You know, especially nope. when he said that about the legacy. Yeah, yes. The legacy, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, right, see, right. you tripping. Yeah, he playing with fire on that one. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he not is. Gonna let that go down. That is not going to uh, ride well. But he been looking at the books, too, because you heard Stern when he said... Um, you know, why do you need a loan? He said, because you have enough liquidity and stuff. So yeah. I'm like, so. Well, I mean, that's, again, smart businessman. You don't be I, running through your, you know, your liquidity. I know, your, but that's know. what I'm saying. He's all over this, and it's going to be right. interesting, him right. trying to keep him at bay. Because, mm-hmm. you, you know, you see that somebody already has money, and they're looking for a loan, the natural 
question is like, well, what you need this money for? Right. Yeah. Well, I think that I don't know if Simon is privy to the fact that James is about to go through this divorce too. So that when James said he was, uh, his money was spoken for. Already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good response. Yeah, yeah. So I think um, Ghost, he's a smart dude. He can always weasel his way out of something. Oh yeah, that's what you have to have. That's why I'm uh, team Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But you know. My question. If you will, I'll, I'll take it because yes, I'm team goes. <laughs> Anybody can outthink, you know, the the, uh, the the folks that he runs up against, you know, and okay. he outthinks them every mm -hmm. single time. So I'm on his side. Yeah. One way, you know. He's definitely a smart brother. Yeah. Yeah, but my thing is, can your boy Proctor weasel his way out? Because you know, I don't know if y'all see the previews for next week, but they the feds look like they raiding somebody's house, it and it look like look Proctor's. Like and you know, his ex wife is still, you know, she provided sex with some info this week. It probably is nothing that he can use. Yeah. I, but I wonder if there's anything. I know that backpack wasn't down there long, but I, I wonder what exactly is on that little unicorn. Yeah. But all that had nothing to do with anything. I mean, okay, the fact that he mentioned that. When Tommy the, said, um, she, he said, I thought you were dead. Right. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So what? I mean, you could have heard on the street that I was killed and. Means or nothing. It could be, you know, I ain't seen you in so long. Right. I thought you were I dead. Thought you were dead. <laughs> right. That that has no bearing. And even if there was some uh, more uh, formidable evidence, they can't use it. They just yeah. can't use it. I mean, it would be illegal for. Oh, it's, it's illegal anyway. Even um, his Proctor's ex-wife said that. She right. Like, and I think I said in the last show. I didn't know what the legality is in New York and for capturing a conversation that. Um, you know, you didn't get permission to yeah, do so. So know. it seems like New York, like Maryland, like right. Virginia yeah, and other right. states, they you just can't roll up on somebody and record a conversation and expect it to, um, you know, have any bearing in mm -hmm. court. Well, did y'all have any other predictions of what might happen? You know, I think it's, it's a little far-fetched, but for some reason I can still see, you know, um, Ghost and maybe Dre having to work together at mm -hmm. some point because they both on the outs right now they I both so. don't they don't have no teams mm -hmm. and um i think that dre is going to have to try to get to close to ghost anyway so he can get some information in order to get to sex so he can get his daughter back but he's got to play up with ghost and i don't know how that's going to happen i mm -hmm. i mean he's got a i don't know how he's going to roll back with ghost uh i think i know at how this it's point gonna happen. Go, ahead. go ahead because uh jason got to go out one way or another exactly and if Tommy ain't trying to be down, then maybe Dre might be down. I agree. I, I, I like the way you're thinking on that. I agree. I'm not going to go against you on that. Yeah, team. I, that's what I see. How I, I think so, too. I think they're going to team up. I can see it. The only thing is they don't trust each other. I know that for a fact. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if Ghost is aware that um, Dre was supposed to testify against Alicia. I'm not sure if he's privy to that information. You don't think Angie told him when she said she was taking care of it? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how much she told him, um, or if she had time enough to, but I agree. I don't know. Tommy I don't know. knew. Well, Tommy knows, but mm -hmm. then they're not talking, so Ghost and Tommy, so. Right. I, I mean, and it's not like a big deal now that Alicia's dead anyways, but um, but the fact that he's put Dre is back into a corner because of that situation, um, it would be a nice heads up for Ghost if he knows that Dre is desperate, you know, mm -hmm. to get his daughter back and that the feds are holding that over his head. Because that'll make Dre do some desperate things. Proctor could tell him that. Yeah, he but, could. And Proctor is privy to that information. But it's like, um, it's, it's interesting, like Epstein. You know, the moment he commits suicide, the cases, they drop the case. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like Alicia, same problem. I mean, because... Zach said that. Yeah, well, the case is done. The case is, yeah. So, so now you're pointing back at Dre to do what you've been trying to do all, all season, mm -hmm. you know, half mm -hmm. the season, mm -hmm. which is get ghost. Mm -hmm. And Dre, the, the best opportunity he had, he foiled, mm -hmm. you know, by playing both sides. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I, I just don't see ghost sucking up to that for a second time. I don't know, I think ghost, he don't have a he team. Have he just needs somebody to do his dirty work. Right. Yeah, but you can't trust Trey to do your dirty he work. That's he the doesn't thing. He doesn't trust Dre. Yeah. You I mean, know, like, Dre, I you can't. I don't need to trust you. I just need you to do what I need you to do. Exactly. We're done. If exactly. that, if yeah, but Dre is always going to take it. He, you want Dre to go south, Listen, he's going to go. They, they worked back with Kanan, and they couldn't trust Kanan either. Well, Kanan, well, Kanan but tried Trey, to kill but, Yeah, but Kanan was more of an imminent threat to both of them. Mm -hmm. And so I could see him working close with uh, Kanan, because Kanan not only threatened 
him, him uh, Dre, he threatened his baby too. So, mm -hmm. you know, that was more of an imminent threat. I can see him working with, uh, with Ghost there. What I see Dre doing in terms of trying to work with Ghost is take over, you know, doing the same thing he did before. And I just don't see Ghost falling into that a second time. It might happen because, again, if Dre needs anything, he needs protection. Mm -hmm. which Ghost can't give him unless he, he turns him over to Jason mm -hmm. and they get in that way. And then Dre, right, and then Dre takes a look and says, okay, I think we can, you know, you and I can take over uh, uh, this whole thing by getting rid of uh, uh, Jason. I see that happening. Mm, I don't know. But that's the only way I see in for Dre. I just don't see Ghost, because he's in a bind, just open the door and think that, because what, is he, what, what can Dre do for Ghost right now anyways? Kill some people. He's a soldier. Yeah, exactly. yeah, but again, <laughs> it's going to be. Have he doesn't have time. Yeah. Tommy but Dre's going to say, "What have you done people. for me?" He has two bits. He has Spanky. He has a uh, big grimace or whatever. Yeah, Ghost Slim is trying grimace. to keep his hands clean. <laughs> yeah. But okay, what's in it for Dre? Dre, uh, he, he needs wants Ghost. That's information on him. He need yeah, get his kid back. He no, I'm saying get back into the, the, into game, the club. The distro, maybe. Yeah, he's whatever. got to get back into the club. Yeah. I, I, that's his only only uh, spot right at this point. Because I, I I wouldn't put a gun in uh, Dre's hand. Not. Uh uh. Well, from you see what I, you see. It could look like Ghost got a gun back up in his hand. Yes, so I don't know. If he's he shooting at somebody. <laughs> what, what was funny was when um when he said. I'm a legitimate businessman. Jason was right. like, you know, you the same one that right. shot. Like, he brought him back yeah, to Jason. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, go see. He's a trip. Be forgetting he's a killer, too. Mm -hmm. Don't try to fool yourself. Well, he doesn't kill at will, though. That's the thing. Not at will. He doesn't just open his eyes. And, <laughs> he does not open his eyes in the morning and say, I think you got to go. And just and, and you got a reason. If, you, if he kills you, there's a reason. And the reason is because you got in his way. But I mean, he Tommy will kill you on the spot yeah, yeah, for no yeah, other yeah, reason yeah, but to put a bullet he's in your head. But don't kill old boy, the drunk driver last season. What you mean? Oh, he didn't have a re you wouldn't have? That was he not, wasn't in that, that man's that way. That was not his issue. That was not his issue. That was the, the, man, right. the other man's issue. Okay. That man was and no he threat to ghosts. He was not a threat to ghosts. He just took out his, his frustration. Anger, his frustration. Yeah. And, he, his and why did he do that? <laughs> why did he do that? For the man. No, but why did he do that? It brought him back to something. He had some kind of revelation or something. He wasn't just because the dude said, hey, I need him to go. He, Team Ghost. He did. <laughs> Team Ghost. No, that's a ghost stand. No, no, that's a ghost stand. Okay. Like, oh, he God. Y'all don't. Go not back to, to the. I, I know he didn't. I know he didn't. So, but he don't ghost. say he didn't wake up at will. <laughs> he didn't he, wake he up at will. He the whole New York network. Right. He took out he, Tommy's team. He had to. Season two. He had to. He did have to, but have you to, acting but like those ain't stone cold killer. I didn't say that. I'm saying. He even said that on his. He page. is. So he a, was like. He said, "What gives me about young. folks is that people think that Ghost is not a villain." He said, "This man has killed oh. more than thirty people." You know. I, I never said he wasn't a villain. What I'm saying is, he just doesn't wake up in the morning. He he is not the kind of guy that carries a gun in the, on his side. Listen now. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm waiting. He's not the kind of guy that carries a gun on his side like Tommy, and just because you said something wrong, he's going to put a bullet in your head like Tommy. Tommy will kill you on point. Oh, it doesn't make a oh, difference. Tommy is a problem. Problem. And I'm simply saying he's not a Tommy. He, he he's is right. more. He's not a he's Tommy. Not a Tommy. He, but he's no angel. He ain't oh, angel. <laughs> you can't, again, guys, you can't be an angel in this business. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you, you, you if you were. You talking about nice guys finishing last. Nice mm -hmm. guys finish dead up in this joint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. H case in point, Don Donovan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, overall, I thought this episode was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like, um, it had a lot of action, and um, I was just a little disappointed with the rehashing of the, the breakout of jail stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I still feel like power because it's an extended season. Like, they're slowly stepping it up. And mm -hmm. everybody complains a little bit early on because they feel like they want the action, like, back to back to back to back. But it got to be, like, a build-up. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's how the show is going to go. So some people said that the show, this episode was a little dull for them. Some people loved it, you know. I thought it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah, ebbs and flows, yeah, but that's, like, anything else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what, 50? I, I hope you listened to what we said at the beginning. 
We better still have Trey songs. Uh, his his intro that, that got to go. Oh okay. No, I was just saying that. Oh, you mean that's about to be dissension in this camera? No, no, what I mean, like you was about to put the hat on me. No, no, no. You I'm you raised saying, up no, like oh, you were ready. No, we're not. No, no. I'm saying <laughs> next week it better not change back to the old thing. Okay. You know, okay. to to the to the Trey songs version. We we done with that. So I'm just saying. I'm about to sing me a song. I thought I was about to see something. Right? <laughs> Okay, we back to normal. <laughs> I'm off the hands list. <laughs> All right, oh, well, man. thank you guys so much for tuning in with us this week. Um, we will definitely be back next week to talk about episode 604. Um, and please make sure you follow us online on every uh, platform. We're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, at The Spot Real Talk. Check us out. Make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and uh, click the bell button so that you can get notifications every single time we post a video. And thank you for your comments too. Even even those that disagree with us. Some of us, some of you mm -hmm. had some really great comments for well, us. Most uh, of you. Yeah, most most of, most of you. Mg Mg um, Judith, I really like your perspective. Um, very analytical. Very. Exactly. Um, I, um, hi, Rainy. <laughs> saw your um, your message before we got here. Um, thank you. Keep them coming and. Keep it cute. Yeah, and some of y'all be on this joint tripping. So we just gonna tell y'all, keep it cute keep or put it, it on mute, okay? <laughs> I How like about that? that. I like that. How about that? Hey, you have a nice run. <laughs> I like that. Uh, keep it cute or put it on mute. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think we gonna uh, exit stage left on that note. <laughs> so y'all have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.